would you need that Excuse for? me. Power armor, huh? You take down a Theoretical brotherhood limits soldier? Are made Hello. To be broken. Please ensure that your dietary requirements are being filled. Systems will be starting a new dark matter initiative soon. Good morning. Would you care for some pre processed nutritional <coughs> supplements? I can't imagine living on the surface. It sounds like a nightmare. Hey. Dr. Orman's lecture on cold fusion hey was nothing Pardon short me. of a revelation. If you encounter a hazardous chemical spill, please alert the facilities division immediately. She's been at it for hey. like two yeah. hours. What is she even testing? Nothing. At this point, she's just doing it for fun. Hey there. Huh? Safety first. Remember that. Hey, Doc. Hmm? Oh, hi there. Sorry if I seem distracted. I memorized five sets of design schematics, and now I'm doing detailed mental comparisons. Mostly components for a new plasma pistol concept I've been toying with. High energy weapons are sort of a hobby of mine. Anyway, I'm glad you're here. I just wanted to say how much I admire Father, and that it's an honor to meet you. I really hope you'll stay here with us. Rosalind. It's really exciting having you here. I can't wait to see what you can do. You ask me, we're only scratching the surface with the latest synths. Rushed work is sloppy at best and deadly at worst. Excuse me, Doctor. Ah, it's you. Excuse me, Doctor. Ah, it's you. You're here then. Yes, yes, I know who you are. We all do. While I'm sure Father is very happy that you're here, I do hope it doesn't interrupt our work. 
What is it you're working on? Advanced systems, special projects. You've seen the boy, a uh, uh, synth, already. We've been hard at work on him for quite a while now. Oh, before I forget, let me see that pit boy of yours. I've been told to install a coarser chip in it for you. Father's orders. You're to be given full access, with the ability to relay in and out of the Institute at will. A coarser chip? What's it do? The same thing it does for our coursers. Creates a link to the relay that allows them, and now you, to get in and out at will. In case the significance is lost on you, you'll be the only one here with that kind of access. If nothing else, it should demonstrate the amount of trust Father has placed in you. Now, unless there's something else, I really do need to get back to work. Is everything okay, Dr. Lee? You seem pretty tense. Yes, things are... It's fine. I'm sorry, I don't socialize much. I prefer to focus on my work. Dr. Lee. I'd like a progress report on your division, if you don't mind. Taking your new appointment in stride, I see. Very well. We've shifted resources off of other projects, like the Child Synth, to focus on Phase 3. I'm hoping that the above-ground efforts are successful. I understand those depend heavily on you. This is Day 8 of Trial 6. The last week has been very productive, but exhausting. I think we'll need a break after this. Binet has done some really marvelous work with the personality mesh. It's, well, it's almost too good. The responses map almost identically to expectations, some of the most lifelike I've seen. Of course, it's not really Sean. None of his memories are in there. That, even now, would be a step too far. It's starting to have an effect on the team, I think. I know I've been caught up in the moment once or twice. Just a second or two, forgetting that he's not a real boy. Still, I think we'll need to consider restricting him to the lab only for the moment. I'm well aware that others are, are put off by his presence. <laughs> if I were slightly more arrogant, I might consider that a sign of success. Nothing to report, sir. Everyone's excited about the new synth project. Identity. If you see any suspicious synth activity, report it immediately. I know it'll be a difficult adjustment for you, but try to remember that synths aren't people. Doctor. So, here you are. Justin Ayo, Acting Director of the Synth Retention Bureau. I'll be up front with you. We're going to be keeping a close eye on you for the near future. Despite your relation to father, you're a bit of an unknown quantity. I'm sure you understand. There won't be any issues, will there? Why? Don't you trust me? I'll be honest. You're an outsider. The first outsider to be allowed access to the Institute in quite a long time, in fact. There's little precedent for this situation, so 
It's only natural to take extra precautions, hmm? It's nothing personal, I assure you. Now, Father has asked that I provide you with a brief overview of the synth retention here. Our primary responsibility is the recovery of escaped synths that are hiding among the human population on the surface. Why would synths want to escape? Synths do not want. They might look like human beings, but they're machines. As to why they're escaping? That matter is currently under investigation. Our main instrument is the Courser, a third-generation synth assigned to operate on the surface. Coursers hunt down and reclaim synths that have escaped the Institute. They are highly self-sufficient, trained in combat, infiltration, and tracking. In a word, our Coursers are relentless. But I gather you know all this, since you've encountered one already. In fact, I'd very much like to know how you defeated it. Why does it matter? If there is some defect in Courser combat programming, then it must be identified and corrected. I suppose I'll have to ask Robotics to perform detailed diagnostics on the entire production run. As if we don't have enough problems. Now, unless you need something else, I'll get back to work. I'd like to know more about the synth reclamation process. Fine. Once a courser, we then begin the uh -huh. in those cases where the procedure is successful. All too often. Good to see you. Dr. Ayo. Yes, what is it? I'm good for now. Thanks. Very well. Father's plans to expand our operations at Warwick. Hi, Doc. I wonder how the Warwick Welcome. family is doing. So good to have you here. Young Wally Dr. Must Clayton be close Holden, to 10 years old by now. head of the bioscience it's remarkable. That I any can't child wait can for you to see the work we're so doing. There, don't you think? It's truly amazing. I look forward to learning more about it. In that case, let me give you a brief overview of what we do here. As the name implies, the bioscience division specializes in fields of study such as botany, genetics, and medicine. Our most important directive is to ensure the health and well-being of everyone in the Institute. To that end, we cultivate highly specialized breeds of flora for use in food and medicine. We've even started to explore the idea of synthetic animal life. You probably saw the gorillas. They're really just a pet project at this point, but the potential is exciting nonetheless. Seems like there's nothing you guys can't do. With hard work and ingenuity, any challenge can be overcome. I'm sure I've taken up enough of your time as it is. But I have to ask, have you decided whether you'll join us? I'm not sure how well I'll fit in, but I'd like to give it a try. Great. I was hoping you'd say that. In any case, I imagine you'll want to continue looking around. Or, if you prefer, I'd be happy to answer any questions you might have. Is there anything I can do to help out? There might be. Tell you what, you get settled in and check back with me later. I'll see what I can find out. Clayton. Anything I can help you with? You mentioned medical care. I might need that from time to time. In that case, you'll want to introduce yourself to Dr. Dean Volkert. He's our top biologist and also serves as the Institute's resident physician. Dr. Volkert works in the infirmary. Just pay him a visit whenever you need to. You won't find better medical care anywhere else in the Commonwealth. I'll promise you that.
the interferometer? Our technology must seem pretty advanced by your standards. Doc. They weren't kidding. You really are here. Well, all right. I'm Allie. Allie Fillmore. You can think of me as the Institute's chief engineer. When Father told us about you, I could hardly believe him. You've been through so much, I think most people would have just given up. If you don't mind my asking, what was it that kept you going all that time? I just wanted to find my son and keep him safe. Now that you've found him, I hope you're proud of the great man he grew up to be. Now, I'll give you a quick rundown of the facility's division, and then I'll answer any questions you might have afterward. As you might guess, we keep the Institute's mechanical and electrical systems running smoothly. We maintain and upgrade all of the systems that make it possible to live and work in a place like this. There's a lot of machinery behind these walls that recycles the air and water and provides power to the laboratories and quarters. The work we do might not be as exciting as some of the other departments, but it's at least as important. So, now that you're here and you've spoken to Father, does that mean you're on board? Absolutely. Oh, good to hear. It'll be a load off Sean's mind. Take your time. Get yourself acquainted. There's a lot to take in. Plenty of things you won't find topside. If there's anything else you'd like to know about the facilities division, I'm happy to discuss it. Who built this place originally? Has it been here long? The construction of the Institute is the work of generations of scientists. The original survivors of the war, our progenitors, took refuge in the basement of the old Commonwealth Institute of Technology. Over time, their sons and daughters dug deeper into the earth and built increasingly sophisticated habitats and laboratories. It's a process that's still going on today. Even now, we're digging out tunnels for new facilities and infrastructure. Just think what this place will look like a hundred years from now. Allie. Hi there. Something I can help you with? It must be a challenge to meet the power demands of a place like this. Absolutely. We scratch and sc over the years, when necessary. Fortunately, it's a good thing. <laughs> sure. Now that you've had a chance to see the Institute firsthand, what do you think? You've got technology here that I never dreamed possible. It's amazing. I'm glad you can appreciate what we've accomplished. None of it has been easy. Ultimately, all our knowledge and resources are focused on a single goal. The goal is best summarized by our motto. Mankind. Redefined. Unfortunately, no advancement comes without occasional setbacks. As remarkable as our synths are, they can be... dangerous without proper supervision. The superior synth mind and body attempting to wrestle with something approaching free will can be a recipe for chaos. What do you mean by proper supervision? I mean that while they are here in the Institute, Fulfilling the purpose for which they were designed, our synths perform admirably. As you're about to see, however, they can become unpredictable when set loose. A rogue synth has taken over the Raider Gang at Libertalia. His memories have been erased, and his identity altered. He believes he's a man named Gabriel. Under his leadership, the Raiders have taken many innocent lives. I've dispatched a courser to Libertalia. 
I'd like you to join him and reclaim that synth. We'll bring that synth home. That would be best for everyone. Now you should get moving. Many people are in danger, and a delay could cost lives. Sean. You should get going. There's no time to waste. Here are my slippers after this ship. That's all I ask. Arturo. You know, a shotgun's great insurance against raiders. Sure. Let's take a look. Everything ha
something out there. Look who it is.
good. Out for you.
something you need? That's not something I do. Yeah, if I were able. Oh, sorry. Thought you might be one of those forged maniacs, but you don't have the burns. A group of them took over the old ironworks, and they'll shoot you just as soon as look at you. I'm with the Minutemen. Tell me what happened. Maybe I can help. Well, I'll be jiggered. Didn't really expect anybody to come. That bastard son of mine, Jake, snuck out in the middle of the night to join him. He grabbed my granddad's old sword. It's the closest thing I've got to an heirloom. If you really are with the Minutemen, and you want to help, well, it would mean a lot to me if you could get that sword back. What about your son, Jake? You don't care what happens to him? I didn't raise my boys to be raiders. As far as I'm concerned, he's dead to me. I'll find it. You're doing me a big favor and I'll make it up to you as best as I can.
What's that? Whatever it was, it's gone now.
different. Shit. what I've got.
Protectron on duty. tries to leave, kill it. You must be pretty strong to make it here. Who are you supposed to be? I'm Slag, and we are the Forged. And you, stranger, you're somebody with some guts. I like that. See, Jake? Here's someone who might actually be worth my time. Unlike you. But They're gonna kill me. But I brought everything you asked for. Stealing things from your family farm doesn't prove your strength, boy. Though this wonderful sword you brought does put me in the 
food to give you one last chance to prove your worth. What do you say? Kill that prisoner and prove that you aren't completely useless. You said we'd be raiding outside the Commonwealth. These people aren't even a threat to us. Prove to me that you can kill! It's him or you. Oh god, what do I do? What do I do? Please Walk let away. Me go. What's it don't gonna be, to Jake? You're right. I don't wanna do this. I don't wanna join the forge. I just wanna go home. Last chance, Jake. If you don't kill the prisoner before I count to three, well, it's over. One. Help! Two! Hey! hey. Huh? What the? Most of them would never see Jake. But they're gonna kill me. Stealing things from you. Oh, this wonder. Kill that prisoner. Uh -huh. You said we'd be. Prove to me that. Uh -huh. Oh, God. Walk away, Jake. You don't have to do this. Please let me go. What's You're right. Gonna be, Jake? I don't want to do this. I don't want to join the forge. I just want to go home. Last chance. <laughs> you gotta be joking. Ah! What happened?
Wait, wait. Okay. Wait, wait, I'm sorry. I, I messed up. I panicked. What were you doing with those guys anyway? Uh, yeah. Uh, well, I just... I thought we'd be raiding outside of the Commonwealth, and that I if I joined them, I could provide for my family. I don't know. God, my dad's right. I'm such an idiot. Look, I, I should probably try to go home and make amends. I know I've got no right to ask, but I bet if you're there to explain, things with my dad would go easier. I bet if you bring my great-granddad's sword, he he'll make it worth your while. He always tries to deal fair with people. I'll wait for you by the overpass near the farm. Tell us apart.
so nervous. I, I feel like I'm gonna throw up. Here goes nothing. What the? Boy, I... I told you that if hey, you were him, what's going on? Face here again, I... Is that my boy? Come home? What? Jake's back? Oh, thank God. Papa, please. I, I know I screwed up pretty big. I, I thought if I joined up, I could keep them from raiding our farm. I didn't. I don't want to hurt anybody. I don't care what you thought. I told you. Abraham Francis Finch, that's enough. Mama, if- Shut up, Jake. If I hear anything out of either of you, you'll both be peeling potatoes for the next year. I've watched you two go at it for years and tried to let you sort it out for yourselves. Abraham, your son is a grown man. And if you expect him to act like one, then you'd better stop treating him like a child. Jake, your father and I have been out there, and we know it can be dangerous. We just want to make sure you're prepared. There, it's over. If I hear another word about it from either of you, so help me. <clears throat> Thanks again for getting me out of there. Abraham. She's right, I've been a fool. There's no way I can thank you enough. Here's the caps we agreed on. Plus a bit for helping my boy. I think you should hang on to that sword. It'll put a smile on Granddad's face to know it was being used to help people. I want to trade a few things. Sure thing. Just looking to trade a little. You ask me, freedom's always worth fighting for. Good news. Finch Farm has joined us. Okay, good. That's what I like to hear. I'll let you know if I hear of any settlements that need our help. In the meantime, make sure to offer help to anyone that needs it. That can only help our cause. Is there something you need? 